Hello guys, Frank and Angie are in Cuenca, Ecuador, and today follow me on a short visit to Azogues, Ecuador, in Azuay province. A lot of people have to go to Azogues to take care of government business, including, uh, you know, apostilling documents and things like that. So follow me along and uh, see what you think. The streets have changed a bit. I don't I remember this one of Jewelry, but it looks so different with the uh, with the new tram being laid down, it just makes it all look look different. At least there's crosswalks, you know. They didn't used to be here. Let's see how well they work. Lights aren't working yet. Hi guys, how travel friendly is the terminal for Restray, the bus terminal in Cuenca? I'm here right now and I just got off the bus. This is the parking area that I got off at, and as I walk in, I don't see, for example, as you know, after a, a trip, wh where's the restrooms? There's no signs, you know, like a little sign right here, you know, restrooms this way. There isn't any, so basically, if you don't speak Spanish, you're up a creek. I guess most people know how to say baño, but how would you understand the uh, their answer? <laughs> Let's see how far I have to walk to get some kind of a restroom sign somewhere. Actually, the exit is over there already. And this way. There's a ticket ticketing booth here. I like these airport style little screens they've got now. I don't remember them being up. I'm still walking because I, I've, I've passed the exits already, but I, here we go. I think we're, I, I have to admit I cheated. I, I knew where they were already, but if you didn't, just to quickly show you, they do have these bus company signs that say where, where they go, but your town might not be on it. So we pay 10 cents to get our ticket so we can make it through the pearly gates right here. I mean the gates. Gracias. It's gonna cost way more than 10 cents to make it through the pearly gates. Okay. Uh, true to our MO or we're on the bus. Gracias okay. por Come with me as I voyage through the beautiful countryside of Azuay County from Cuenca to Azogues. long at all. Look at how that um, the village looks up on the hill over there. I don't know if you can see it but it's got the um... oh time to get off. So I found my trusty fare after all. My uh Chicken soup, I elected to do the fast food thing, but I still got a deal, $1.50. And I'm in the Azogues bus terminal. It does have a small little terminal. 
which is interesting. They, they seem to have a little bit of everything here. You know, they've got the restaurant and they even have the internet cabina. So I'm here in the internet cabina. I'm doing some computer stuff in Azogas. This is a little bit of a pet peeve. When you go to these cabinas, Yahoo picks up on some kind of unusual activity just because you're logging in from different places and uh, then they won't let you uh, log in without sending you a, a text. And then they say that there might be charges for the text. I mean, you know, that's kind of silly. So so it looks like we're in. I, uh, I, I think it's a good idea for security purposes, but what if I didn't have my phone? I'm actually out of town trying to do errands and I'd be locked out and wouldn't be able to do it. So in order to avoid that, I'd have to get all my stuff printed before leaving town. And I just didn't get a chance to do it. Anyway. <clears throat> yeah, um, we can handle it. Just, uh, just be super careful because my feet are twice as big as the steps, so it's easy to fall off of here. So I just want to get a quick shot of the Azogas bus terminal. And, uh, it is right here on the main road that leads to the center. A lot of people need to come to Azogas because Cuenca has uh, apparently moved their uh, administration uh, offices from Cuenca to Azogas. So a lot of times every time you need to do a little something, there's a bus. Let me see. So I made it on the bus and I, I think the municipal building is just a few blocks up the road right here. So I literally could have walked it but got a lot of stuff to do today and I'm trying to make time. <laughs> oh wow, that was really particularly strong, but uh, I was just getting ready to say, really helpful people around here. I just asked one person on the bus uh, where the notary what might be, and uh, three of them uh, rose up to the occasion to help out, so that's nice, <laughs> really nice. This is a quaint little town, it's hilly though. Interesting. So I took the bus, um, which is not, <laughs> it's not a direct route like a taxi would be, you know. And I mean, you have to be a little bit adventurous to do that because I didn't really get dropped off at the municipal building, so, but I know it's not too far. comes that girl. I think she, she figures I don't know where I'm at. Maybe. Más adelante. Un, un, una cuadra. Ya yo mismo le llevo porque yo tengo que seguir. Ah, bueno. Gracias de su ayuda. I'm getting a few looks on the camera. Not a whole lot of tourists. I, I'm sure look like a tourist, but that's okay. I do speak the language. Oops. Gotta watch those. They're really dangerous. It's one of the uh, perils or dangers of uh, vlogging. <laughs> okay, so I'm here. Very short taxi ride. And the Terminal Terrestre is right down this road. You could walk it, but uh, we'll see. Zogas is nice and quaint. It's uh, pretty clean. You can see the, the hills there. The mountains. 
Okay, so you go to this window here, you get a number, and then you go over there and you get it at the still. When we first got here, they were putting birth certificates, expiration dates on birth certificates. Like, why in the world does a birth certificate need an expiration date? You know, that's the, the, the date that you were born, and that's it. It's not going to change. Why does, how does that expire? And they're just really, really eccentric in, the, in these systems in some of these countries. And, for example, the, this is a police report. Why does it need an expiration date? I mean, the, before you answer that, uh, the way it's done in other parts of the world is that, uh, and I'm not saying that that's better, I'm just saying that uh, just from a reasoning point of view that, uh, you know, I mean, the recipient uh, determines uh, you know, how, whether a police report or a document uh, is valid or not for them. That's, uh, they're the ones uh, making that determination, not, not the issuer. You know, there's no reason for a piece of paper like this to have, to have an expiration date on it. Uh, and kind of annoying, actually, but, uh, but, you know, what do you do? Go with the flow. The purpose uh, of, of highlighting uh, this issue is that uh, I think that the people that make these rules and, and, and put these expiration dates, they have no clue how slow their own post office is and how, how long it takes to, to mail a document to, from foreign countries. And not just that, you, a lot of times they have to go to several offices within the foreign country. Like if you're getting a document in the U.S. and then uh, you have to get the document and then you have to send that very same document after waiting on somebody else to get it for you maybe, uh, they have to send it to a different office to get apostilled and that takes more time and then they have to mail it to Ecuador. So the, the expiration date thing is a really, really uh, a, a hindrance and a obstacle to, to getting things done. I mean, uh, just little things like that that you don't, uh, you don't realize just put a real a drag on the time it takes to get get anything done that requires paperwork. I'm curious to see if they've lowered the rates on this apostilling. When I first got here, it was like uh, five bucks, and, and, and then and then it shot up to twenty bucks. Um, it'll be interesting to see if it went up from there. I'll uh, keep you guys posted. Okay, so correction: it's not the municipal office; it's the uh, Relaciones Exterior. Um, Foreign Relations Ministry. The last time I did this was a year ago, so yeah, the fee is still, uh, still the $20. All right, thanks for following me on this. I'm going to head down to the Terminal Terrestre here and then head to Cuenca. So overall, it's been an uneventful, positive day. Cuenca. Cuenca.